Hey everybody, welcome back to art. For today's art lesson, all you're gonna need is a square piece of paper. If you do not have a square piece of paper, you can take a regular rectangle piece of paper. You can take the top left corner, fold it down to the bottom like this. Make sure the edge is lined up and then crease it down. And then you can grab a pair of scissors and cut off the rectangle on the ends. And you'll have a square piece of paper. Today we are going to be creating some origami together. Origami is the art of paper folding. We're going to be making a bookmark because it is almost March is reading month. This is a cool bookmark that you can put on the corner of your book. So if you have a book and you're on a page, you can stick it in the top corner like this, and you've got a bookmark. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna take your square piece of paper. The first thing we're gonna do is turn it so that it looks like a diamond instead of a square. We are going to fold the bottom corner up to the top corner. Two really important things about origami. Number one, your paper should be lined up really, really perfect every time. And you need to push down on your creases the best that you can. If you don't push down very well, then it won't work out in the end. After we folded our paper in half like this, it should look like a triangle. The next thing we're gonna do is take the right corner and fold it up to the top corner. We are going to do the same thing on the left corner. We're gonna take this, fold it up to the top. Crease it. Awesome. We can actually unfold these for right now and you should see a diamond in the middle with two triangles on the side. We're gonna take one flap from the top, so not both of them, but just this top one, and we're gonna fold this top point down to the bottom edge, like this. Go ahead and crease it. Now I'm going to take the left corner and fold it over to the middle, like this. I'm going to take the right corner and do the same thing, fold it over to the middle. And I'm going to unfold these again. Now the last step is going to be lifting this back up to the top corner and I'm going to open this pouch right here and tuck the top flap inside. Same thing on the other side, so I'm going to open up this pouch, lift it up to the top, and right where I folded it, right here, that's where it will tuck over into the pouch. You might kind of have to stuff it in there a little bit, and then you can flatten it out, and you've got your origami corner bookmark. Now, if you want to, you could use crayons or colored pencils to decorate it and make it fun, or you could just leave it like this. When you're all done, make sure you take a picture of it and s submit it to Schoology. If you want, you can take a picture of it on your book. Make sure you upload that picture and then you'll be all done with art for this week. Hopefully a fun new bookmark will make reading in March even more fun. Have a great week everybody and I will see you next time.